Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to send emails using Flask. All right, so if you didn't know already, Flask has a library called Flask Mail, which can be used to send emails with Flask. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do just that. So we're going to be using Flask and Flask Mail to send emails to us. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, I have activated a virtual environment, and what we need to do is install two packages. We're going to be installing Flask and Flask Mails, and to do that, we can just do pip3 install Flask and Flask Mail. If you're on Windows, you can just do pip install instead of pip3. And right here, it has just installed those. All right, so now that we have our packages installed, we're ready to begin. So over here in my file explorer, I have my static directory. And since I want to make this tutorial as simple as possible, I'm not going to be using the static directory for now. I'm just going to be keeping it here. And then I have my templates folder with an empty index.html file inside of it. We will be adding a few things inside of here later on. And then I have my virtual environment and my main app file. So in order for our app to get um, set up, we're going to need to write a few lines of code inside here. So I'm just going to speed up the video and I'll explain to you guys what the few lines of code means. So I'll just start writing. All right, so if you've been using Flask for a while, you probably understand this part, but if you're new to Flask, here's what this means. So over here on line one, we're importing Flask from the Flask package, and this render template is there so that we can return our HTML files when we go to a certain route, okay? And then this app variable here is just um, used to create the app instance. And then over here, I have these two app.route decorators. So one of them is for forward slash home, and the other one is just forward slash. And this home function right below it will just control what happens when we're at this route. And right now, it's just returning the index.html file, which means that we will see the contents that are in the HTML file when we go to this route. And these two lines at the bottom are just used for running our app. And since we're currently in development mode, we have to put debug is equal to true so that we can see updates that we make to our app when we um, hit save. And before we run our app, I'm just going to put a few things in this index.html file so that it's not empty when we go to the route. So I'm just going to um, just put uh, over here, I'm just going to put um, flask mail tutorial in a p tag. And then we're going to run our app using python3 main.py. Now, if you're on Windows, you're going to do python main.py. And then if we enter, it's going to run our app. And on our browser, if we go to localhost at port 5000, you can see that it uh, has returned flask mail tutorial since we're at this slash route and when it's rendering this template it's going to render this content inside the template and if we go to slash home you can see the same thing so now that we have our app set up we can start setting up flask mail this part is pretty simple also since we already have the package installed we can just import it and then initialize the instance so to do that we can just um, type in from flask underscore mail import mail and message so the mail is the actual library and the message is what will be used to send emails to the receiver and then we can just initialize this by creating a variable called mail and then that will be equal to mail and we're going to pass an app all right so now that we have our flask mail set up we can start implementing it so what we're going to do is create some sort of button in the index page and on the click of that button we will send a post request to the home route and on that post request, we'll send an email. All right, now before we add that button, there's one more thing that we need to do, and that is to configure a few things before sending an email. So I'm gonna paste a few things here, and then I'll explain to you guys what it means. And I'm also going to import OS. Okay, and now I'm gonna explain to you guys what this uh, code means, okay? So the mail server is going to be the server in which our email is being sent through. So we're using Gmail over here. And then the mail port, um, is the port that we're sending the email from, okay? And then the mail username is the sender's username. So let's say that I'm trying to email you, I'd be the sender in that case, so I'm just gonna put my email. And in order for um, the email to be sent, we're gonna need the sender's password. Now, since uh, you guys are just following along with this video, you can just put your password over here. So for example, let's say your password is one, two, three, four, five, six. You just put one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? But since this is a YouTube video and I can't show that type of confidential information, I just have my password set to an environment variable. So I'm using the OS library, which I just imported to um, get the value of my password. Okay. But if you're just following along, you just put your password over here. Okay. 
And then this should be it for configuring everything for flask mail. And then now we can move on to adding that button. And to add the button, we're just going to go to the index.html file. And then over here, I'm just going to create a form. So form method is going to be post since we're sending a post request to the server method post and then a button that just um, says send email and then if we save these changes and then refresh our web page you can see that the you can see the button over here so next we need to um, import a few things uh, in our python file so i'm just going to import request okay and then in our app.route decorators we're going to need to spe specify some methods that we're going to be accepting at this route so i'm just going to um, create methods over here and then we're going to be accepting get and post requests okay and i'm just going to copy this down below and once we have this done now we're ready to you know add the functionality part to this button so now we're ready to build the function to send emails but since i'm sending them through my gmail account google will not recognize our app and throw an error so what we can do to ensure that this works is to go to your google account and then go to security right here and scroll down to where it says less secure app access now if we turn this on google will allow our app to send emails to recipients now since this is just a video and we're trying to learn things here you can switch this on for testing our app but once everything is working, um, I recommend turning this off, okay? So I'm just gonna turn it on for the time being um, since we're just testing our app out. And once this is turned on, now we can um, build the function to send email. All right, so now that we have everything configured, we can finally start working on the feature to send the email. So let's start. So I'm just gonna do if request.method is equal to post, then we're gonna do something. And what we're going to do is send the email. So I'm just going to create a variable called msg, and this will be equal to message. And then we're going to have the title of the message. So I'm just going to put hey, and then sender, this can be anyone. I'll just put no reply at demo.com. And then the recipients list. And since I'm sending this to myself, I'll just put my email in here. So recipients and then my email. And then we're gonna put the body of the email. So the email body, so I'll just do message.body. It's gonna be equal to, um, hey, how are you? Is everything okay? Okay, and then I'm just gonna do mail.sendmsg. And then once we send the message, we're just going to redirect the user, notifying them that the message has been sent. So I'll just do return sent email. If we save these changes and then refresh our web page, and if I press send email, the email has been sent to my email address. And in the next clip, I'm going to be checking my inbox to make sure that this is working. All right, so as you can see, I'm in my inbox and the email has been sent. The title of the message is hey, and the body is exactly what we have in the code. So now since we've received the email, we know that our app is working perfectly. And in case you're confused on what's going on in the code, what's going on is this. So whenever we press this send email button, the index file is sending a post request to our Python server. And in our home route, we're basically listening for that post request. And if, and if there is a post request, we're sending an email to the recipients listed here. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found this informative and I hope you learned how Flask Mail works. If you're confused or would like to ask something, please email me or post your question down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to reply to you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, have a nice day.